Hello and welcome back to Maker's Muse. In this video we'll be talking about printing thin walls on your 3D printer. That's coming up. So earlier this week I got a call from a school that I've sold a 3D printer to and they said, Angus, our printers are no longer working properly. What's going on? Come and fix them. And they've got two up plus twos and apparently they were both not printing correctly, which is pretty unusual considering the up plus twos are fairly bulletproof printers. So I got there and they had bought a new up box as well. So the up box is the newest printer from the PP3DP up whatever company and it runs on version 2.17 on the up software. So I thought, okay, this is clearly a software problem that's causing their issues. And what the problem they were having was they were printing thin walls on a torch design and these walls were no longer printing solid. They were printing just the outside and the inside and just air in the middle, so obviously it had no strength to it. So this got me thinking, printing thin walls on an FDM 3D printer is actually pretty challenging. If you think about it, the nozzle diameter is 0.4 mil on your average FDM 3D printer. So theoretically, the thinnest line it can lay down is 0.4 millimeters. But a lot of models, especially architectural students, they'll scale their models down from one, uh, one to one to one to 500 scale, walls become paper thin. So how do 3D printers handle this? Well, obviously something's changed in the latest version of software, so I decided to do a bit of investigating. So I designed up this thin wall test. It has wall thicknesses from 2 mil down to 1.5, 1, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0.4 millimeters, which is ridiculously thin. So I printed this initially on the Up Mini on version 2.17 to try to replicate what they were having. So the print turned out pretty good. However, as I suspected, one of the thicknesses did have no fill in between. And to my surprise, it was the 1.5 mil, not the 1 mil, which had this uh, gap in, in the middle. That must be because if it's going to do a, a fill, it would actually make it bigger than 1.5, so the software chooses to ignore that fill and just print with air in the middle, which is not very strong, but it might be more accurate. I, I was actually quite surprised that it did the 1 and the 0.8 mil uh, quite good, but it completely ignored the 0.4. Uh, it did the 0.6, but also it's worth noting that at these scales, the tolerances are going to be pretty bad. So I've got my trusty calipers and let's have a quick squiz. So the two mil wall is actually scarily close. It's actually about 1.99 or 2.03, which is very, very good for an FDM printer. Um, and similarly, the 1.5 mil wall is very accurate, even though it has no fill in the middle. And that's clearly what the printer is trying to do, print it accurately rather than printing it strong. Going down to the 1 mil, however, things start to get a little bit inaccurate. It's at 1.2 and down to the 0.8, it's no longer even close to 0.8. It's actually again 1.2 and similarly the 0.6 is 1.1. So clearly that's the thinnest wall you can print on an ARP printer currently. However, I did notice there is a checkbox in the latest software to do a thin wall option. So I ticked that and tried printing it again. You will also notice that in this print, the 0.4 mil wall just didn't appear at all. The up software will just literally ignore things that are too thin for it to reproduce uh, and then just not print them. So with the thin wall box checked, I printed it again. And this result was actually a little bit different, but also kind of the same. The 1.5 mil wall still has that air gap, which is fairly useless, but it did print the 0.4 mil uh, wall. So we've got the 0.8, again, that's about 1.15 or 1.2. Uh, we've got the 0.6, which again is about 1.1. And the 1.4 has been inflated again to 1.1. So I think that's the, the thinnest, thinnest you could get away with this setting. So with that in mind, I rolled back the software to 2.15, which won't run the latest up stuff for the up box, but these are up plus two, so you don't even need any of that. And I tried to print it again. And what was really interesting is it did do a fill at the 1.5. It's not a very dense fill, even though I had dents on, but it is there. The wall is a lot stronger in this print than it was in 2.17. So let's take the calipers to this one. The two mil wall is pretty much on point again, 1.97 to 2. 07, that's not bad. Uh, the 1.5 mil wall is actually a little bit bigger. 1.5, uh, 1.55, so it's inflated a tiny bit to fit that fill in. Um, but really, that's not too bad if you allow tolerances. The 0 0.8 again is 1.15, 1 1.2, 1 uh, and likewise with the 0 0.6 um, wall. Uh, but what's interesting again is it didn't print that 0.4. 
So the only way you're going to be able to print very, very thin walls on the up printers at the moment is to run the 2.17 software and turn the thin walls option on. But again, you might get weaker walls. So that's how the up software handles thin walls, but how do other printers handle thin walls? And specifically, how does Simplify 3D handle thin walls? Arguably one of the better or best slices you can get at the moment for your printer, if it will run it. So I decided to print the same model on my Wanhao using Simplify 3D, and the results from the G-code uh, preview were really interesting. So what happened is it's doing the thin walls, uh, doing a fill, thin wall fill, it actually is doing a thin wall with no fill for the 1 mil wall, not the 1.5, which is surprising. But when it gets down to the 0.4, it actually did this really crazy stippled thing where it sort of ran the nozzle around once. So it didn't ha have two perimeters, it just had the single one. But it turned the nozzle on and off really quickly. It was actually quite strange. But uh, yeah, it actually printed, surprisingly enough. And we can see the results from that. So this is going to be a test as much on the WAN house accuracy as the Simplify 3D's accuracy, but let's have a look. So the 0.2 wall is 1.95. The 1.5 wall is 1.56. So it's a little bit inflated, might be my flow settings. Uh, the 1 mil wall is 0.94. So it's a little bit undersized, but again, it's got no fill. It's, it's got air between the two walls, so I have to try be careful not to squeeze it. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it's about, yeah, 0.95. The 0.8 mil wall is literally 0.8, uh, 0.8, oh sorry, 0.84, which is actually very good. So that's better than the up is capable of printing thin walls. We're already on a winner there. Uh, let's see the 0.6. 0.67, that's not bad. 0.67 for a very thin wall. That's pretty impressive, especially off a printer that's 500 bucks. And let's have a look at the 0.4. Bum, bum, bum. 0.36, no freaking way. 0.36 on a 3D printer, an FDM printer where the nozzle is 0.4. So that's, that would arguably be the thinnest wall you can possibly print on one of these machines. Um, and it, it handles it like a champ. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys If you're interested in printing this thin wall test I designed you can find the download link below I've uploaded it to Gumroad so you can download it for free you Just have to enter your email address and then so I can have you on my email list I won't spam you I promise it's just so I can send you awesome stuff like this in the future If you enjoyed this video and want to see more 3d printing tips and tricks on makers muse Please feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon. Thanks guys. Bye